Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong 2014 Interbike, and we're here with ASOS right now. We got Hans here. We got away from everybody else. We came up here to a little hideaway to be able to go through, get really intimate with the product. So I really want you to pay attention to this video. You all know I did Leadville 100 this year. The man, these shorts saved me. The pad in these shorts is just absolutely unbelievable. Everything that I wear from the, the uh, spring piece that I've got from them, the heavy piece that I wear during the winter, the jacket, I'm telling you, it just fits like a glove. It works so well. So Hans is going to walk us through some of their products, give us a little bit more education on why this is so amazing and why you should be riding it every day of your life. So let's talk a little bit about the products. Sure. Uh, yeah, the S7 launch has been very successful. Uh, we attribute the success with the fit of the shorts, also with the fabric, brand new fabric, which has greater breathability while we also have reduced the weight in the shorts. Uh, the next step for us is to, to obviously introduce the, the pieces where it uh, fits in very well with fall. So we uh, introduced a new Tiburu shorts, which is, has the same cut as the Kip shorts. Uh, however, with a reinforced um, uh, fabric, with a fleece layer underneath, uh, which is going to keep you warm all, all, all the way down to in the low 50s. In the front, we have something we call Blasenschutz, uh, and that means bladder, bladder protection. Up here in the front, with the two panels, we have a stratagon material, which is windproof, uh, water uh, wicking material. It's going to keep you warm throughout the ride. This. Uh, Again, short is based on the S7 generation, which uh, um, we introduced now spring. So it has a Golden Gate chamois, which is detached from the actual Lycra part. So the saddle movements and the micro, uh, micro frictions, you don't feel it at all. The chamois rests upon your uh, skin and the rest of the short actually, obviously then rubs against shoulder, uh, sorry, saddle. Uh, in the front, we have a cocoon shaped uh, compartment for male's genitalia, which obviously adds a lot of comfort. Uh, overall, the short is lighter, more breathable than our previous generation. And that's more or less it for this Yeah, it just piece. feels so good, you guys. When you got this on, it just feels like it's, I don't know how to say, it's just one piece with you and it just flows so well. So absolutely let's go to the next product so now are we going into some mountain bike stuff that's correct okay great. and this is actually the first time also touches anything about mountain biking uh, it's not necessarily our own intention to go uh, get into mountain biking but uh, our end consumers uh, proved uh, that they actually were riding in their uh, road uh, bicycle bibs and we got uh, crashed uh, bicycle bibs uh, to our head office and we, we learn a lot from th these uh, things. We learn first of all that there is a d demand from our consumers to, for us to get into the mountain bike arena and do something. We have also sponsored uh, teams, uh, the Swiss uh, team uh, mountain bike for the last seven years, which has uh, also provided us with very critical data on how to approach the mountain bike range. Awesome. So this is actually the first time we we introduce uh, uh, apparel with mountain bike, mm -hmm. and this is the first bib short called Rally, Mountain Bike Rally, T Rally. This has a woven material as opposed to knitted material, which ha is in its structure extremely strong. Uh, I've personally crashed a few times yeah. with these shorts. Yeah and it doesn't leave anything behind, and oh no wow. marks or anything. Cool. You also have, if you do crash, you have the opportunity to put in a little uh, impact foam inside. You just pop this little baby out, in or out, and this is placed right on the hip bone, which protects you from any discomfort should you go down. Nice. Um, in the front, we have, again, two panels here, so added compartment for male's uh, anatomy, and, um, Again, a very strong woven material, which is, um, has a 3D function. This is more or less for any reasonable crash. It's going to uh, withstand yeah, uh, yeah. that type of thing. Yeah, very cool. Uh, next to go with that is a rally trekking jersey, we call it. Again, sturdy material, super good fit. The cut versus the road jerseys we have, the cut 
is a little bit more of a normal cut, meaning that it's more of an upright position uh, as opposed to the road cycling position, which is more bent over. That means that the front is cut lower down and the back comes a little bit higher up. Um, it's a highly breathable material, 120% stretch in the material. One of the most fascinating things is the mesh we have in the back. This is about one-tenth of an inch, 2.5 millimeters, and this mesh leaves a little gap between you and your hydra pack, whether it's a camelback or anything. That gap provides a little air condition for your back, so you don't sweat to the same extent. The reason why we want to avoid sweat is the fact that sweat runs down the spine and in your shorts. Uh, which in turn creates discomfort. So this has been very well received. Yeah. Uh, we sell this together with a base layer. So it comes with this jersey and the base layer combined because obviously the mesh does not protect for the sun. So we insist that you ride with a base layer with this jersey. Uh, again, as I said, we've been sponsoring the Swiss Federation. We've also engaged in an epic ride, literally speaking, called Cape Epic, oh, cool. and this is in uh, South Africa. And for the first time this year, our team participated uh, in the South African race, which lasts several days. We will continue to sponsor it for next year. And uh, thus, thus, you see this jersey with the zebra mm -hmm. pattern. And um, there's a good relationship uh, between us, Asos, and Cape Epic. And it's a little bit of a testing ground for our mountain bike line. We will continue this development. We will also continue to develop new and more interesting mountain bike garments. Yeah, very cool. So everything you find from these guys is really well um, thought through. And the thing I love the most about it is, is their, their clothing, I don't know who they get for the models, but they must, I mean, they just fit really well. I, I mean, they, they, they're very breathable. So as you, as you look at the piece, I just really want you to really consider, you know, they, they build a piece like this. How many of you went out with a pack on sweat, 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 wishing that you had something to make a difference. Well, they've thought through that, yet they still even think a step further with a base layer that makes the difference, right? Most riding companies out there, clothing companies, don't even talk about a base layer. These guys address all sorts of levels of base layers and why those base layers make a difference. If you're not riding with a base layer right now, you really, really should be. Yes, even if it's hot sometimes, you need a base layer on, and there's reasons for that. So that's a whole other educational story we're not going to get into right now. But really look at these companies that are leading that, they're trending and leading that industry for us because these guys are the ones making the difference. I mean, look at how well they even package everything. I showed a video on when I got my shorts. It's like opening Christmas, man. It is so cool. Apple has nothing on these guys when it comes to mm -hmm. packaging and design and really thinking these products through. So I encourage you to go check them out at your bike shop. If you haven't wore one of these shorts or if you haven't tried any of their products out, you may look at the price tag and go, oh my gosh. Well, don't oh my gosh yourself. Just go look at that and go, you know what? This is an investment in my body. I've got this bike out here. You want to enjoy it the most. Once you wear it, I guarantee you, you will buy more of it. So get out there, try it out. 2014 inner bike right here. Had a lot of fun. Hans, thank you for walking us thank through the you. new mountain biking Thanks stuff. So and I can tell you without their shorts, Leadville would have been a whole other story for me. So keep out there. Most of all, keep on your bike and keep cycling strong.